Yes, you got it. Good job. Okay, guys, today I am going to show you how I make this look awesome. My husband is right here. He's not gonna be on camera though because he's like, no. He is a MA. He doesn't do that anymore. And it's like his old job when he was first starting out in working and stuff like that when he was like 18. But he still has all the knowledge, which is good because he uses it for me because I'm spoiled and I don't have to change my own patch. My husband does it for me. Since I got my port, my husband has always changed my patch for me, which is like spoiled rotten. I know this, but it's just like the way we've had it set up and then that's the way it stayed. So. so he's the one that changes this for me every week and I figured I'd go ahead and record it for YouTube in case anybody else who's just getting this patch doesn't know what to do or is freaking out about it or wants to know what it looks like underneath this circle we're gonna show you so he's getting his things ready and it's just everything is sanitary and nothing is being touched and so I will put on my mask in a minute because we don't want any like germs or go over there anything with snottiness from my little nine-year-old near me or near this we don't want it anywhere near so that's why we shove the children in the room and then we change this and you have to make sure you're not near any vents no fans nothing blowing around near you um you know none of that whatsoever so let me put this on and I will peel it off and we will do this. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me though. I don't know how to fast forward. I'm going to have to fast forward all this footage. Uh huh. Okay. Now that I look like Michael Jackson, I hope you can see me and hear me. Here it is. That's my patch. So I'm gonna hold this down like right here. And we first start with the alcohol and you get everything out that you can possibly get out. And you push down really hard and you go around. If you see any darkness, it's previous scarring from the chemical burn that I have um, on the skin. I've had this on for almost five years, four, four years, going on five years this June. And so the mixture of both of these chemicals sometimes creates skin burn and that's what the darkness around is. I've had it for a very long time. I've had the same one. I haven't had any infection on it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, baby Jesus. But we take really good care of it. Anytime you go outside, you're sweating, you have a stressful day, and you're moving around a lot, you got to make sure that you keep this thing straight and awesome. No sweat. You have to switch it out more than once a week. You do it. Um, now, after he does all the alcohol swabs, you let it dry completely. You're never supposed to fan it. You're never supposed to blow on it. You're never supposed to put any kind of wind on it whatsoever because then you're just putting germs into your site straight to your heart. And that's nothing you ever want to do. So never touch it or like blow on it or any of that stuff. So now we just sit here and wait for it to dry. And that's what we'll do. Okay, now I got it. Okay, so now the alcohol has completely dried. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go in with your chlor prep. And so then, this is the second chemical that you put on this. If your alcohol is not completely dried and you put this chlor prep on top, you will burn your skin and get these scars on your body. And it'll create little pustules and it'll itch like crazy. So please make sure that your alcohol is dry before. And like this, you just do in the same direction down, and then you do the opposite direction up, and then you do a crossways direction. I 
I wish I knew how to edit and make it like fast forward, but y'all are probably gonna have to watch this whole thing through. Like, slowly the wiping. This looks like I'm holding my boob the whole time. But I gotta hold the shirt down because I don't want it to touch anything, so. Now it's gonna look like I'm holding my boobs. <laughs> Did it? Okay, so now I'm gonna pause it again and then start later because like I said, you have to wait till this dries down completely before you move on to the next step. And then you're glad you have this mask on because when you inhale this stuff, it is like so strong. Sometimes it makes you wanna cough, so make sure you have your mask on. So we'll be back. Okay, cool. So now the chlor prep has dried. So now what we're gonna do is, oh my gosh, there is an ant on my camera. I can see it, hold on. Sorry, little guy. Oh, he's still there. There, he fell. Okay, well, now we put on the bio patch and we do our little loop-de-loop -loop thing. I can hold it from out here because it wasn't like touched or anything. But like not further up. And sometimes usually like we'll do like a tighter loop and we'll put it down but like right now it's like we're trying to film this so it's not as easy to do but you always want to have like a little bit more under that tape so in case anything tugs or pulls you're gonna have that there so we usually do another piece on the other side just to hold it down And that's what keeps everything stuck on my body. Now I can take this off. <sighs> and I can breathe. So that's the way I change my patch. And I do that once a week and it is tough to keep up with. Um, when I first like had it in, it was like super emotional to have that in your body and it's like you're learning to deal with like a new body part and stuff like that and just being dependent upon something else that's not your body is very like nerve-wracking and it's sad you know at first and so I cried through uh, like the first like week or two and it's just the shock you're just shocked you're like holy cow I have this thing in my chest like how am I gonna cover it and how am I gonna like hide it from people and you know that was like how I was at the very beginning and now if I want to wear a shirt like this and it shows it shows you know like um, it takes time to get there you're not gonna get like that overnight you're not gonna just accept yourself the very next day or the very next week or the very month after that but with time you will accept yourself and be happy about it and it takes time and I'm happy about myself now and I love myself now and if I want to wear a shirt like this and it shows that's what I'm gonna wear because that's what I like because I have to enjoy every moment of my life that I have the way that it is I have to accept what is and the reality of my life is that I need this in my body to live and if I don't have this and I'm worried about how my body looks to everybody else well then I'm not too concerned about myself I'm concerned about how everybody feels around me and I choose not to live my life that way I choose to live my life to the fullest that I have left with what I have and be happy about my choices and so my family is very supportive my husband's very supportive thank you for this uh, and all my kids are super supportive about me and my fanny pack life and my 
little pump here. So if you have a supportive squad around you, it is very helpful. But if you don't have a supportive squad around you, like I said in my previous videos, you can go back and watch those or don't, you know, whatever you want to do. It's up to you to decide what kind of life you want to live. It's your choice every single day to wake up and decide what kind of life you want to live. You want to live a life where you're scared, terrified, and sad? Go ahead and do that, but just understand that you could be wasting a lot of years that you have to gather more experience, to love your family, to see other events happen that you've never seen before. Go out and experience life. Don't waste it worrying about what other people think of you or what you look like to other people and there's a lot of times that i walk around and i have i look normal if this is covered with a t-shirt and i am walking around and people are like why are you wearing that fanny pack oh my gosh that's so like you know old school like whatever you know and i'll tell them like i'll show them the medication and they're like oh i'm so sorry or you know um, you have like tape on your chest. Like if sometimes this is covered and it's just tape, you'll, they'll see the tegaderm. I will show them, oh, like, you know, I have this, you know, it's support. And then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know. And a lot of times it's um, people that are trying to like, oh, look, you have tape or make you feel bad about yourself or something. But um, at this point in my life, I'm just really not too concerned about what other people think about me. Everybody has their own opinion. And whatever somebody else thinks about me is their business. Actually, it's none of my business what somebody else thinks about me. So I just focus on myself and I focus on what makes me happy and making sure that I keep my body as perfect as possible so that I can continue to have a long road ahead of me for everything that I have in the future. My daughter's soon to graduate. We've already had her party. I have two little children that depend on me that are growing so quickly. And I'm very excited about that and I'm excited for my future. So I don't let haters bring me down. Say what they want to say because I am not bothered. So anyway, that was my video for today. It's super short. Well, I feel like it's short. I could keep talking, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, well, let me just, you know, talk about, I will say this about, you know, this to the family members and to the friends. When you see somebody with a port or if you see somebody that has pH that needs something like this or other people that have difficulties, this is my opinion. This is what works for me is that don't feel bad for me because I have this. Don't treat me different because I have this. I mean, treat me different in that I can't climb, you know, the Mayan ruin flight of stairs, but don't treat me different in that, oh, like, are you going to, you know, be okay with the, your pump? And, you know, don't focus your attention so much on the biomechanics that make us run at this point. Focus it on us as people because we are people and we're dealing with these things already and people that are new to these things they're dealing with the, each experience as they go so if you're calling focus to something that they're trying not to deal with in that moment it can almost like sometimes bring them down or lead them to frustration and they're not intending to be rude or angry about any of that it's just that a lot of times they don't like to focus on something, especially when they've got their mind right and they're in one head space of, okay, you know, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to do this, you know, go to this parade and, you know, I'm going to sit there and nobody's going to bother me. And then if you're like, oh, is that, you know, are you okay? Like, you know, that's not like helpful for us or whatever. So if they're calling attention to it or they're trying to talk about it or share an experience, yes, go ahead and feel free to ask any question that you would want, you know, somebody to ask you. But if they're not bringing attention to it at that moment, like just kind of just try to like act like you don't see it, you know? So um, that's my only advice to friends and family about, you know, people with the pump and stuff like that and because we're not always trying to focus on our health situation we're trying to get through days we're trying to like live our best life and be happy in each present moment so that's just friends and family advice that I would give on this but yes all you pump family out there the snail shell squad make sure you keep your um 
sight very clean healthy all the time anytime there's just like soreness or redness or anything get to your doctor as fast as possible it's nothing to be like mm, I'll just wait a few days and see if it goes away like no girl like do not be doing any of that do not be thinking you can tough it out because everything that you know any time that you run out is like life and death with us for these type of things because they go straight to our heart the medication that pumps through these wires is extremely potent medications and it's nothing to be messing around with so if you ever have any kind of like tender feelings or it's like really red or like oh this is weird or it's like itching is so bad that i can't like you know stop itching it get to your doctor as fast as possible book that appointment call don't just wait or just it'll go away or let's see if it works out like because it won't you'll get very sick and people from PH can't always, I'm sorry, my dogs are going nuts over there. So that's what it is. They're playing with each other. So yeah, people from, right, why you stop? People um, with PH can't, you know, recover as quickly as a healthy person would. It takes our body a lot longer. Our body is already in distress, so it's not nothing to be messed with. But thank you for watching my video today. And anybody with new sites, um, please subscribe, like my channel. I'm Erica, your PH friend from Texas. Bye.